Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I normally fly an Ishker, for Angel Cartel sites I've instead chosen to fly another assault frigate called the Retribution. This ship performs quite well in the Angel Burrow. Combat anomalies appear in your probe scanner window, and you can warp to them immediately. The Angel Burrow is a combat anomaly found in all systems with a security status of 0.9 or higher throughout Minmatar space. It has a low level of difficulty to run, but the NPC ships can spawn quite a ways apart with each wave. This can make the site a little more tedious to run if you're not well equipped. While it does have the potential for loot drops, this seems significantly more rare than it is for the Angel Hideaway, Refuge, or Den. It also does not have any chance of escalating. The site comes in two different configurations. The first configuration of the Angel Burrow consists of a central rock formation, with bunkers a ways off on either side. This configuration is much more straightforward, with five waves of up to four Angel Cartel frigate or corvette NPCs. The final wave with the potential faction frigate will spawn to the left of the main rock formation, near a freight pad flanked by two bunkers. The second configuration of the Angel Burrow consists of an asteroid station next to a series of freight pads and storage silos. The initial defenders are split into two groups. The group above the beacon will have one or two Angel Cartel frigate NPCs, and can actually be ignored. The group near the base will have three or four Angel Cartel frigate NPCs, and must be destroyed to spawn the second wave. The second wave spawns three or four Angel Cartel frigate NPCs near the base, and must be destroyed to spawn the third wave. The third wave spawns one or two Angel Cartel frigate NPCs way off near a wreckage. This wave does not actually need to be fully destroyed to complete the site. Once at least one of these ships is taken down to 50% armor, the fourth wave spawns. The fourth wave spawns three or four Angel Cartel frigate NPCs near the base, and must be destroyed to spawn the fifth and final wave. The fifth wave spawns up to three Angel Cartel frigate NPCs near the base. If you're lucky, the final wave in either configuration will include a frigate identified as a Domination. The Domination NPC will always drop a Domination Copper Tag, and 1,000 rounds of Archangel or Domination Small Projectile Ammunition. While I did not witness any additional loot besides the ammunition while gathering footage for this video, I suspect there is a very small chance that a Domination Module could drop. A ship like the Retribution, fit with beam lasers, is capable of running this site in about a minute and a half. For newer Minmatar pilots, a rifter fit with light artillery, or a breacher fit with light missiles, will do almost as well. In fact, almost any frigate or destroyer is capable of running the site quickly, with tactical destroyers being the most efficient. Many larger ships can actually be a detriment, as their lock times tend to be too long to compete against frigates or destroyers. Relying on drones can also be a detriment, as they have to travel quite a distance between NPC spawn points. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 100 Angel Burrow sites. Over this period, three of these spawned a Domination Pirate. None of these dropped anything beyond the Faction Ammo and Tag. If you're looking to maximize profits while out exploring, I would actually ignore this site altogether. In high security Minmatar space, you'll also find the Angel Hideaway, Refuge, and Den among the combat anomalies as well as combat signatures named the Angel Hideout, Lookout, Watch, and Vigil. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentis, Garistas, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020, with a similar 13-part series for Serpentis combat sites. More recently, I completed a similar guide for high-security Garistas combat sites. If you find yourself in Glent or Caldari space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.